All right, well, I wanted to do something today that I don't do very often at all uh, about my own content, and that is to ask people to share something. And I want you to share this video called Woke Christianity at Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary. I'll link to it in the description of this video. I'll also link to this guy's YouTube channel. It's the Conversations That Matter podcast, and his website is worldviewconversation.com. Uh, it's all by John Harris, and I wanted to just say some things about John Harris. I saw some people um, saying things about John on Twitter that weren't correct, um, and I want to take I want to get his back a little bit because I think this guy is a solid brother. I consider him a friend. We've never met. I, I hope I get to meet him one day. We've talked on the phone a number of times, and we're in some of the same com boxes on Facebook and stuff like that. I consider this man a man of God and uh, a faithful ally in this whole controversy. Anyway, um, this video is important. This, essentially what it is, it's a montage created by John and enemies uh, within the church um, of professors at Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary saying, uh, essentially teaching critical theory, teaching perspectivalism, teaching social justice, essentially. Um, even in the face of all of these denials that they do that, here are professors doing it. And he puts together this montage and he talks about the criticism that he's received and, he, and his responses to it and a variety of other things about the social justice issue going into 2020 that I think are important and are worth hearing. Uh, what I love about John is that he's a serious man. There's no question about it. He takes this very seriously. He obviously loves uh, the Church of Christ. He obviously loves the Southern Baptist Convention, and he is trying to help. I think my videos are helpful too, but there's a difference because I have a lot more fun with it than a lot of people think I should. I, I disagree, and I'm I'm trying to work my angle and all of that kind of thing. Um, and, but but I think that there is definitely a place for someone who takes these things and does a lot more in-depth research, more in-depth podcasts. You know, he'll do an hour-long podcast. My, my videos are typically like 20 minutes, and it's a lot of it is off the cuff um, and all of that. Um, so I think that this is he, he's valuable in this debate because of the work he's willing to put in on the front end. And the end product is very balanced. He's not a blowhard. He doesn't bloviate about people. Um, he's very fair. That, that's the bottom line. He's a fair person, and he, he always says that he's willing to be corrected on things. And I, with a guy like John, guys, everybody says that, but you know, you get the impression that some people really don't mean it. John does mean it. If you, if you think he's wrong about something, talk to him about it. You don't even have to do it privately. You can do it publicly. He'll respond to you and just tell him exactly why he's wrong. Um, he's willing to hear that stuff out. And I think he'd be willing to change his opinions if there was a good reason to. Um, so, so I love John for that. The other thing about him is that he's willing to take hits. I mean, this guy can take a punch. There's just no question about it, metaphorically speaking. Uh, probably he can take a punch physically too. I don't know. I've never, I've never, as I said, I've never met the man. But anyway, um, but, but metaphorically speaking, he's willing to take punches. He's willing to take some shots uh, in order to get this important message out. And he, and he takes them. He, he takes them all the time. I saw some people on Twitter saying some things about him that, that weren't correct. Oh, he's a Confederate. He's a racist, blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. And, and the positions that he takes leave, your, leave himself open to that kind of thing because uh, the people that are you know employing critical theory and, and employing the social justice narrative, they don't care about what the truth is. They just care about what it looks like. And, you know, if somebody says something like the Bible doesn't blanket condemn slavery in all its forms, which is an obvious truth, that leaves you open to slander. And he takes it and he's and he takes it willingly. He doesn't have a bad attitude about it. Um, I respect that in a man. It's one thing for me to say stuff like that. And someone says, oh, you're a white supremacist. Well, that's obviously stupid. I'm not white. Um, but he is and he knows going in that he's going to take this kind of abuse and he does it. Anyway, that is something to be commended. And John, I, I commend you for that. Your work is very helpful to me. And I know, I know that the people on the other side of this debate, our opponents, our ideological opponents on this debate, the progressives within the church consider you a threat. So keep up the good work, man. And I, and I, I just pray for courage and boldness for you because they see you as a threat. There is no question about that. They know that a lot more people are listening to you than used to listen to you. And they see the future. And I, I can see it too. That's your influence is going to grow.
And so I pray for humility. I pray for uh, God to, to, you know, you have a good head on your shoulders. There's no question about it. I pray for God to to keep you humble, keep you relying on Him. And when, you know, as this platform of yours grows, which it definitely will, and I'm, I'm going to help you try to build that because I want people to. To, to see your stuff. I think your stuff is more helpful than my stuff in many ways. There's just no question about it. I have a place in this fight, um, but you're from these circles, man. I'm, I'm not a Baptist. I'm not a Southern Baptist. I care about Southern Baptist. I love Southern Baptist, but I'm not Southern Baptist. And you are, you've got a unique position here. Um, and I just pray that God continue to give you that courage and boldness. Guys, if you aren't subscribed to this guy's channel, do it right now. Go to, go to my description, find his channel, Click subscribe, click the little bell next to it, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I promise you, you will find this guy's content helpful. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I could say to, to, to gush about this guy's channel, but I just recommend it. And I, I want to I want to talk to you, John. Thank you for your willingness to, to step out and take these hits, man. Take these hits for people because there are so many people in the pews that they don't know if it's worth it. You know what I mean? And so you're providing a lot of people cover. Um, you're providing cover fire for a lot of these people, and I just, I just hope God blesses you, your wife, um, and and everything that you do in this controversy. I pray that God blesses it, uh, keep you far from sin, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, that'll be the end of this video. Um, looking forward to more from John Harris, and I'll see you on the next video. I hope this was helpful.